Ashley with Pugs and Pearls and today I am super excited because my MAC Vibe Tribe stuff came in and I am so excited to do a get ready with all of the items that I purchased. So if you want to see um, what it ends up looking like, just stay tuned. Hey guys, so first I'm going to start by priming my lips with this Kate Rimmel Lip Balm. It's a really nice moisturizer and just kind of prepares my lips for lipstick. Then I'm going in with the e.l.f. Daily Hydration Moisturizer. I've been kind of starting to use this in my routine and I think it is a very nice moisturizer for the skin. Next for eye primer, I'm going to be using my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. And so far this has been really nice to use as well. I think it does a very good job of priming my eyelids. It also does a great job of keeping the eyeshadows staying put all day long. And then for primer, I'm going to use my MAC Prep and Prime. This is the first time I'm using this, but so far I like it. I think it did a good job of kind of holding in place my makeup um, all day. So I'm pretty pleased with this product. I've never tried it, so that was a fun thing to um, kind of test out. Then I'm taking my go-to foundation for the moment. This is the Revlon Color Stay Combination Oily um, in the shade 200 Nude. I find that it is extremely um, full coverage. You can build it up. I normally do one and a half to two maybe pumps. Um, and I do it in sections because it does tend to dry fairly quickly. And it does leave kind of a um, matte finish, but I feel like with the moisturizing um, primer and foundation that I put on underneath, it still kind of stays slightly luminous and not completely matte, which I kind of like. It looks more natural that way. So again, I'm taking my um, foundation brush and just blending this all together. And that is just an open close look of what it looks like. I think it's pretty nice. Then for concealer, I'm using my Naked Skin Urban Decay um, concealer underneath my eyes and I'm just going to blend that in with my finger. I think it does a really good job of kind of concealing under eye circles. It's very lightweight and it doesn't crease underneath my eyes, which I really appreciate. And that's what it looks like when it's all done. Then for brows, we're going to do Gimme Brow from Benefit, and this tube is extremely messed up <laughs> because Pearl got a hold of it and um, quickly destroyed it, so I was fortunate enough to grab it from her <laughs> before she killed the whole bottle. Um, but it is a great um, way to kind of tint um, and hold your eyebrows for basically the, the whole day. I think it does a great job of um, holding them in place. Then my new MAC Vibe Tribe eyeshadow quad. I'm going to be taking the first shadow. This is a Velux Pearl. This first shade is called Call of the Canyon, and I'm going to be just taking that and putting it in the inner corner and blending it into the center on my eyelid. It's a really pretty shade. It's actually very pigmented. I think it shows up really nicely. Then I'm going to be taking this really nice peach shimmery shade, it's called Summer Sun, and I've got this on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be blending this all throughout the crease. I go in a few times in this shade just to build up the color, but I think it really, really um, shows up really, really nicely as well. Then I'm going to be taking this nice gold shade, this is called Fool's Gold, and I'm going to be taking it on my finger and putting this all over the mid to outer corner. And again, just trying to build this up so that it's a little bit more pigmented as well. And then last we're going to be taking this Thunderbolt shade. I think this is a really pretty kind of gray black. Um, with gold shimmer in it and I'm going to be putting this in the outer corner and then just blending this into the interior a little bit and then up and through the crease. In a way it almost looks brown when I kind of back away from the camera but it's really really nice and I'm going in with a tinier brush to just kind of blend it out and make it look very smooth. And then I'm going back in with the white shade. I'm going to be taking this on my brow bone highlight and again I think it shows up very very nicely um, for that pop of color. And that's what the eye look is looking like. Then I'm going to be taking this MAC eyeliner. This is a really nice one in the shade Broke. And I really, really like this. It's creamy. It's got a gel-like texture. It goes onto the lid. I'm going to line my upper lash as well as my lower lash line with this. 
and like I said it stays really well throughout the day and it's just a nice brown liner with a little bit of like copper reflex in it. Then for mascara I'm taking my Benefit Roller Lash. I really really love this for lengthening and giving a little bit of volume at the base. I think it looks really pretty really elegant and I'm just going to be putting that all over my lashes. Then for lower lash mascara, I'm using my Wet n Wild Mega Length. This is a perfect lengthening mascara for the bottom lashes. Um, the wand is really tiny so you don't um, get it all over your face. It's really easy to get those lashes and make them a little bit darker and a little bit longer. Then for powder, I'm going to take my e.l.f. Perfect Finish HD Powder. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and just kind of put this all over my face to set my makeup. Then for blush, I'm taking this beautiful, beautiful shade called Painted Canyon. It is a gorgeous pink and it's super, super pigmented. I put way too much on. As you can see, I was kind of surprised. So I just put enough on both sides and I really tried to blend it out. It's got a nice gold sheen to it, so it's a satin finish and I really, really, really like this one. I even went in with my foundation brush just to tone it down a little bit. Then I'm going to be taking a new brush that I got from this MAC 5 Tribe Collection. It's the 125 Dual Fiber Brush. And I'm going to be taking my Butter Bronzer in the shade Light Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is one of my favorite light bronzers to use. It's not too heavy. But this brush does a really great job of contouring. And I'm just going to be putting this on the um, hollows of my cheeks, on my temples of my forehead, under my jaw, and down my neck. Then for highlight, I'm taking the Beauty Bar Baby Strawberry Swirl Highlighter. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and the pigment is so, so good. So I'm just putting a little bit on and you can see that shine so, so nicely. It's a beautiful pink and gold highlighter. Then I'm taking my MAC Vibe Tribe Lipstick. This is in the shade Hot Chocolate. It's a satin and this is so creamy and smooth. It's just a really pretty plum. And it's a really nice, I would say, neutral kind of mauve plum. It's very, very wearable. Went on super, super nice, and it has a really good wear time. So guys, this is the um, up-close look at the collection, and I really, really enjoyed it. So guys, this is the finished product. I really, really, really love a lot of these colors um, in this collection. I just think it's really, really pretty, and I love how the eyeshadow came out. The blush is super pigmented, and I love the lipstick. It's super soft and creamy, so really, really surprised how much um, this ended up being an awesome collection. So I highly recommend it, and if you guys have any questions, I will answer that in the um, down bar below. Thank you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!